Hi, it's Darnell with Way of Recipes, and today I'm going to be making a barbecue chicken pizza, making a wheat pizza dough with the Crescential bread machine, and then I'm going to be cooking it up in the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven. So this is going to be one you don't want to miss, and let's get started on that pizza now. Okay, so I'm just showing you the inside of the bread machine while I get the ingredients in for this uh, whole wheat pizza crust, and even though it's whole wheat, it actually uses some actual bread flour so that you don't have like super rough crust. So this is a recipe from the Quisential.com website. I'll have to link it in the description where you can get it if you have a bread machine. But it basically calls for first one cup of warm water. So I just basically run some hot water and pour it on in. Then you take a tablespoon of, they call for olive oil. I'm using extra virgin olive oil. Next is a tablespoon of salt, that's kosher salt, not just regular salt. Then it calls for a cup and a half of whole wheat flour and white flour. I'm going to put the white, well it's not white flour, it's bread flour, sorry. A cup and a half of bread flour and a cup and a half of whole wheat flour. So I'm putting in my bread flour now here. Next I'm going to pour in my whole wheat flour on top of that. I believe the white flour works better on the bottom instead of getting that whole wheat flour um, wet first. Now after that I make a well in the top of this whole wheat flour I have here. It's on top. It's making a well. Now inside of this well should go two teaspoons of yeast. I've got the uh, some dry active yeast here. So I'm going to be putting that in. This is I believe about two teaspoons worth about. You're supposed to have exact measures but I believe that's uh, this is good. Alright so now I close up my bread machine and then turn it around. Now on the menu here nine is dough so I click to get the 9 for dough, it takes an hour and a half, and so I'm just going to click start. I'll bring you back when it's done making the dough. Alright, so the bread machine has finished its work with the dough, so I'm just going to put it back out here. I push it back so that when it's moving it won't fall off the counter. But here is our completed whole wheat pizza dough. There we go. I'm going to get the bread machine out the way so I can start making the actual pizza. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven Air Fryer Convection Toaster preheated. So I just hit the on off button to turn it on. And I'm going to go ahead and go to pizza and I'll do the preheat through pizza the way I've shown before. So it's uh, 450 degrees, 15 minutes. Now I just hit the preheat button to invoke preheat and hit start because you want to preheat with these homemade ones. Some pizzas like if you're doing like DiGiorno's or frozen pizzas and stuff you don't need to preheat. But these um, it's good to preheat get that oven nice and hot before doing this pizza here. So while that's preheating I'm going to take my whole wheat pizza dough and take it out. Now also I've got for my pizza sauce I'm going to be using some barbecue sauce here. I just got a second bottle because this one's low. I've got some shredded mozzarella cheese and I've got some chopped up chicken that I'll be using so that'll make for barbecue chicken. So we got barbecue sauce and we got chicken. And there's my dough. Alright now I'm just going to press my dough out from the center out to the edges of the pan. So I got my dough out to the edges. I'm sure yours will look better than mine when you make yours, but as long as you know how to make yours, it's all good. Now I'm going to put on some uh, some of my barbecue sauces, my pizza sauce. 
Now you can leave in a comment what types of pizza combinations you like to put together at home yourself and your faves. I'm just going to get this spread out. Alright, now I'm just going to get my cheese open and start spreading cheese. Now I'm going to get the chicken sprinkled on. Alright, and so with I was finishing the pizza, the preheat just finished. I got five minutes to get it in, but I'm already done with making the pizza. I just open up, slide it in. I have my rack on the second up from the bottom. I'm just going to hit start. Now it's starting that 15 minute cook at 450 degrees. I'll bring you back before this is done to do a spin. Okay, so about seven minutes have passed, and so at this point I want to spin it. So I'm gonna hit pause open up and just kind of pull the rack out slightly and I'm going to try and spin my pizza pan around do a bit of a 180 on it and see how far it's done now I'm going to hit the start pause button again going to let that continue to cook and keep an eye on things I'll bring you on back all right with four minutes left I want to take the top heating element out things are getting pretty cooked on the top side so I'm going to hit top bottom and I'm going to drop the top heating element down to just 10% and let the heat come up from the bottom while it continues to cook and keep an eye on things and I'll bring you right back. Alright, so I've let it cook for 13 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and hit pause here. Use my pizza peel to get the pizza out. Looks pretty good. So at this point I'm just going to turn the New Way Bravo off. Job well done by the Bravo. And I'm going to go ahead and start cutting up slices. Alright, I'm just going to let that cool down for a moment. Alright, so let's plate a slice. I'll just take this one here. I'm going to get the camera swapped and then we'll do a taste test of this barbecue chicken pizza from the New Way Bravo with the whole wheat crust from the bread machine. Alright, here's our pizza from the Bravo. Have a look there. Nice thick crust. Lots of cheese. Pretty good pizza. Pretty good. The Bravo does it again. So you can do your uh, barbecue pizza or whatever you like. And so um, you can get this other recipes at superwaveovenrecipes.com in printable form. You can use waveovenrecipes.com to always come directly to this YouTube channel. Also, I'm on Twitter at Wave Oven Recipes. There'll be photos of this, photos of other cooks on Instagram at Wave Oven Recipes. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Subscribe to the channel and good eating.